So now we've added two slurs here and here. But what we're also doing is we're separating the other notes. So you have to make sure that this is slurred and these ones are probably going to be easy to separate, but the tendency is to also slur the E. There's only one note that's long here. It's the D. The E is short. There should be a crack between the E and the F, the F and the G, the G and the A. And then the A is long. That's the only one that's long. The G is short. That's the one you have to pay attention to, is the one after the long note. Then this is short, this is short, and this is short, but it's longer than these because it's a quarter note and not an eighth note. So these sound like really subtle things, but they make a huge difference. So this is non legato, but it's different than it's a different length than the eighth notes. I would recommend you practice this very slowly, making the E super short to make sure that you have that crack. And then, sorry, separate it. So this is very important, to practice slowly and be aware of the different lengths of, of the notes. We talked about the left, the left hand. Now, this gives it a kind of... single way of doing it that's right so you can do whatever you like but usually as a general rule what we tend to do is if you find one way of doing it and then these are patterns that keep coming back you try to do it the same time every way so if you did then you're gonna go and then you have the choice
understand what what you like. You can keep doing this, but it doesn't have to be that. I think it sounds nice nicer here, like before, when we only do it on the first beat. Actually, just a beat. Adds to the speaking quality and li liveliness to the music. 